Hello, good evening everyone, and um, it's James Sanson here, um, and uh, this is a special message for Joanne, and uh, um, I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry that I missed the call tonight. I was just utterly distracted um, with some quite urgent personal stuff, but anyway, there's no excuse. So um, anyway, um, I thought I would just record this for you, and um, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry to... Uh, waste your time this evening for all those people that came on the call uh, this evening. Uh, but anyway, um, I hope that you will find something here uh, from me um, that will inspire you and encourage you and just tell you a little bit about my story um, with uh, Juice Plus. So I've been involved with the company now for uh, 29 years. So it's it's been an amazing experience. And um, I mean, highs and lows and um, uh, you know, a, a lot, a lot of amazing times, and it's been just the most extraordinary adventure. But just to encapsulate, just very quickly, I first saw um, the company in Dallas, Texas, in uh, 1987, and I uh, went along uh, to see a presentation. Um, and uh, at that time, we were in the water business, and there were 500 people at that uh, event. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my goodness, how can all these people want to become plumbers? It seemed to me out, out, of, out of this world. But of course, they didn't want to become plumbers. They were looking at a business opportunity then, and I could see as I sat there, that the potential of what we were looking at and the company was absolutely vast. So um, I decided to come away from that and um, I was driving home and I'm driving back to where I lived in Dallas and I remember thinking as I was driving uh, along in a very old Toyota and there would be a Mercedes that would drive, drive past or a BMW or a Porsche and every now and then I would catch myself thinking, oh, I could have one of those, I could have one of those and I thought, oh no, don't be so stupid. Um, anyway, um, I got going with the Juice Plus business and, uh, I think, uh, what was amazing was that in, uh, within four years of starting, um, and this was amazing for me. I was down at Porsche in Reading, um, buying a Porsche brand new for cash. Um, and I don't say that because I want to brag. I'm saying that because, um, I turned this from something I never thought could work into something that really has worked and continues to work fantastically well. So you'd be very pleased to know that um, shortly after I bought the car, I crashed it <laughs> in the car park of where I lived. So that uh, was a little bit embarrassing, but uh, um, anyway, it, it, it was just one of those things. But I had my moment. I had my moment of, of success that proved to me uh, that this really, really works. And I suppose my message tonight really is that um, this really can work for anyone. Now, within my first year, um, I was ready to quit. So I couldn't see a way forward for myself. Um, I tried, I had people joining and then leaving and um, didn't help the fact that I'd gone to live in the United States for a while, but I just didn't seem to be able to crack it. And then I went to see a presentation by Jay Martin, who, as we know, is the president of our company. And he said uh, at that presentation, he said, what you need is a business buddy, uh, someone that you can talk to, share with your ups, your downs, your good and bad. And um, I set out then on that path to find someone who I could work with. And the person I found was a school friend who'd been hugely successful um, in his uh, entrepreneurial career started a number of different companies, but of all the people that I knew of on my list, he was the most entrepreneurial, most go-getting person I knew. And it was an utter thrill that he came in uh, to join me. And what happened with us was that we started working so closely together, we got such a strong momentum with what we were doing, um, that you know, within a very short period of time, we started building up tremendous momentum. Um, and by 19... 94, 1990, well, 1992, 93, really, having started in 1989, we had something between three and 500 people a week at our meetings, three to 500 people a week. So it's absolutely amazing in terms of what was achieved. And if I think back to, you know, what really made the difference, obviously, it was he and I working together. That was the, the critical thing. And I would say to anyone um, that is working in our business today, 
so important to have someone that you can share with, that you can buddy up with, because it just seems to create so much extra energy. Anyway, so if I, if I think back over um, my career with NSA and, and everything that's happened, there are just a few things that I can see that really um, made, made all the difference. The first thing uh, was that I set clear goals. Um, I had clear aspirations about what I wanted to achieve. Um, I had clear, tangible goals about you know, houses, the you know, house I wanted to live in, a car that I wanted to drive. So that straight away really, really drove me. And um, again, another extraordinary thing was that when I first started, I wrote up on a sheet of paper by my uh, shaving mirror um, in the morning, I wrote up that I wanted to live by the river um, because I visited a friend's house that um, overlooked the river. And I thought it looked really, really nice. Um, well, my goal came and went and came and went many times in terms of the date. But by in 1993, I moved into a five bedroom house overlooking uh, the River Thames. So that was just incredible. So I could see that things happened and I could see that results really uh, could be achieved. So that was, that was really important for me. Um, if I think about really one of the, the major um, reasons I've been successful, I think it's because I was able to see the vision for the company right from word go. And obviously we've got the conference coming up in Birmingham quite soon. And I just cannot stress strongly enough the importance of going to a big conference. Now, I, when I um, was first getting going, I went to a conference in Orlando and there were 5,000 people um, at the conference, 5,000. And I was the only one in my team there. I, I didn't have a team, it was just me. And I stayed at a fairly rinky-dinky hotel down the road and sort of slunk my, my way in every day uh, to the, to the um, event. But what I saw that, saw that absolutely blew me away. And I think the number one thing that I saw there was not just the success, not just the energy, but I saw absolutely incredible camaraderie between the people. And I realized that there was something very, very special with our company, that it was like a, it was like a sort of dream scenario that people would be working with people that they wanted to work with. But more importantly, people were not on like a life adventure with each other, sharing their successes, and to me, that was the ultimate. I thought, right, look, I just want this. And I came back and then, you know, I got going. Now, a couple of things that, that I was taught right from the word go, and I have to say, I went to all the, all the trainings I possibly could in the early days because I knew that I had to get my head around this to understand what it was all about. Um, and there's some things that really crystallized in my mind early on, which made all the difference. The first thing was, was that, you know, this is a numbers game. Um, I was taught right at the beginning that, you know, SW, 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 SW. Some will, some won't. So what? Because someone else is waiting. And that, that was extraordinary to me. But, it, you know, it, 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 I realized that it made so much sense. that I, I shouldn't get hung up on people saying no to me. I know it's tough when people say no, but I shouldn't get hum hung up on that. I should just keep talking to the next person. And um, one of the other things that was said to me in the early, early days was that um, if you want to be successful, you've got to go out and get 50 no's, 50 straightforward, massive no's. And I remember thinking, God, that sounds madness. But I realized as I got going that as I got no's, I started getting a lot of yeses as well. And it was through the no's that I got the yeses. So I saw myself through to success by being prepared to accept and uh, welcome negatives. So, you know, we're wanting to be successful with this, but we're not prepared to accept any negatives. And we just can't bear the fact that people are going to say no to us. Unfortunately, we're never going to be successful. But if we just keep going and if we just play the numbers, then the results will come. So when I was really, really building towards National Marketing Director, I would have a rule with myself for every day. And that was that I had to uh, speak to five new people every day. 
And I remember how hard it was at times. Remember, we had no internet then. We had no social media. So I would <laughs> put um, uh, some coins in, my, in, in one pocket and I would transfer them to the other pocket as I spoke to people during the day. And it's extraordinary how, how the people just seem to emerge because I was so focused on, on talking to people and, 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 and finding the right people. And you know, even today, you know, there are people all around us, everywhere, that are interested in what we're doing. I mean, I was just at Holland, Holland and Barrett today, and I was talking to the girl there who I served me a number of times, and I've invited to her to one of our presentations a bit ago. And she said, um, she said, oh, I really, really want to help people with obesity. Now, I know that Juice Plus is not just about weight loss. Of course it doesn't. It's all about looking good and feeling good and, and having a, an amazing um, adventure, in a sense, with our health through eating better fruits and vegetables and berries. But, you know, there she was in, in front of me saying that she wanted, you know, to work and help people with obesity. So, again, we've got people all around us all the time. The other thing that um, was really critical for me in the early stages was running presentations. Now, you know, I, I didn't find it easy standing up at the front of the room. I didn't find it easy coordinating it. I didn't find it easy inviting people. But the event created so much energy. Plus, also, it created, again, this camaraderie so that people hung together and enjoyed being together. And what we found was that people were joining more like a feeling of being with the people, and then they got interested in the business. I know it's a strange thing, that, but, but that is what I felt, that people came to join the feeling, and then they saw the, the business. And obviously, they were on the product as well, but it was the, it was the feeling which, which, which really, really got people. I think the, the other thing that I, I would say that, that was really, really critical in terms of um, my uh, success was understanding something which I call the concept wheel. Now, obviously, we're all looking to achieve success um, in our business and also with the people that we're, we're signing up. But sometimes we want success for people and we haven't covered the bases with them to help them get going. So what I say to people is the, the first thing, uh, and what it was explained to me, the first thing is all about desire. It's all about um, seeing and making sure that people have the desire. Once people have the desire, it's then moving on to seeing if people have the understanding. Now, people have, need to have an understanding about our product, obviously about our business, but also they need to see other people that are being successful. And that's another reason why people should come to the presentations, because then people get to understand how it works and understand how it works for other people and therefore it can work for them too. But then the critical thing is people then get the belief. And when people get the belief, the belief that this can work and that it can work for them, then people are prepared to com commit. And often we see with people, they're in the business, they're doing stuff, but you can see they're not really committed. And the reason is, is because they haven't got the belief. And once people have got the belief, which leads to commitment, then they start taking the action, the correct action, and it becomes a virtuous circle because they then do get even more understanding, even more belief, even more commitment, even more correct action, and so on and so forth. So we have to make sure that our people are really established in the bases in order for them to see the success that, um, that we know is achievable for them. And I always remember my mother used to say to me when I first started, she said to me once, she said, you know, your success is inevitable, don't you? And I was like, what? How, how could you be saying this? You know, she was someone who was very uh, distant from my business in a sense. She didn't really understand what I was doing. But what she got was she got the numbers. And what I say to people now, and sometimes when people are starting, they're like, oh, gosh, this, is, this seems like a big one. But what I say to people is you've got to get critical mass. So once you've got critical mass, once you've got about 20 people in your team that are each actively talking to people, effectively you can't look back. Because if you've got 20 people each talking to five people a week, a day, you're effectively reaching 100 people. And you can't fail. You absolutely can't fail. So if we look at the people you know, who are successful very, very quickly, 
in our business. Very often it's to do with the fact that they got the vision right from word go. And more recently, someone who got the vision right from word go is Katie Ravy. Uh, of course, she see, saw it through the prism of social media, but she saw what was achievable and then she absolutely went for it. And I think this is a very, very important thing for us is that for each of us, we have to get to a point where we can see what is going to happen and thereby we're prepared to take the action uh, to, to achieve um, the success, which is clearly due for us. Not everybody will achieve it because not everybody's prepared to keep going. That's the reality. But if people can keep in the program, keep focused, keep in the zone, keep listening to personal development, keep listening to Jim Rohn, keep reading the books, you will find that you get the energy and the power to keep going and that will, and that will see you through. So as we look forward, where are we going um, with, with our company? Well, you know, I've never been as, as, as excited as I am now um, about the program. And, 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 and why is that? Well, firstly, because we have an incredible product um, which is a world beater. There's nothing else like it in the market. Secondly, um, we have an incredible company that stood the test of time. Uh, you know, we're 46 years old. We are through and through an established, tried and tested company. And thirdly, we're in the process now of taking a very successful program that we've proven works in the USA and Europe and um, in, in Australia, and we're now taking it out into the Middle East and now, of course, into the rest of the world. And, you know, we have a program uh, that we're working towards of, of Juice Plus 2020, and the company has some very, very, very big plans. And our plans are to become the, a massive company in our area. So we've heard of the likes of Herbalife and Amway and all of these companies. I don't consider a, we are the same as these companies, but they have shown a path towards world domination um, that we can follow in but we are we're different and we're different because um, we have 90 percent of our customers are just customers they're not distributors um, but also because we are very very focused on um, just the product the product experience um, and of course the business is very very powerful but the product is so much the driver of, of everything we do. And uh, I like to say to people, we're like an Amazon uh, with a networking element rather than being anything really like network marketing. We're not really, we're definitely not traditional network marketing. We're new, a new form of marketing that really the world, world has never seen. So if you're looking at this for the first time or you're, you're just in the early stages, I would, I would just encourage you so much uh, to stay with it, stay learning, uh, stay excited. Come to uh, Birmingham. Um, you know, Joanne is the most incredible leader. Um, every time I, I sit with her and, and listen to her, I think, what an inspiring woman. So you are an incredible position. Um, obviously, you have Birgit as well as um, your upline there, and there couldn't possibly be a more knowledgeable person about our business. And every time I hear Birgit speak, I think, my goodness, this is so impressive. Um, so, um, I wish you all the best. I, I really, really hope that I will get a chance to meet you um, in um, Birmingham. Again, my sincere apologies for not making the call live tonight, um, but I hope you found something interesting tonight. And if you would like to email me with any questions of anything, I would honestly do anything to help you now because I'm so embarrassed about tonight. Um, but my um, email is James at sandersonselect.co.uk. And of course, you can also reach me on Facebook. So it's chains at sandersonselect.co.uk. So um, I think that's just about it for me. Um, I didn't say earlier, did I, that I have uh, turned over something in the order of 50 million uh, with the company since I've been involved. And this is from someone who just couldn't even imagine that, that I could do this when I got started. So my, my very best wishes to you. And um, the world is literally your oyster. Thank you and good night.